Hi Nicole, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. What brings you into our agency today? Um, well, I've really just been feeling kind of anxious every time I go to work. Feeling anxious every time you go to work? Mm -hmm. What type of place do you work? Um, I work just in an insurance company, um, sort of an admin assistant. Okay. Work for an insurance company, and how long have you been feeling anxious there? Well, I started a little over a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess you could say ever since I started there, I've been feeling kind of anxious. It's my first time in that type of setting, and it just never really went away. Have you ever had anxiety like that at a previous employer or any other place? Yeah, I would say when I've started new jobs or even in new academic environments, I would feel somewhat anxious. So this is a somewhat familiar anxiety. Mm -hmm. All right, tell me about the anxiety. Um, well, it starts you know, when I wake up in the morning and get ready to go to work. Even when I'm driving in, I just start to get anxious. Mm -hmm. um, and then once I'm there, I really just you know, I go to work and I do what I'm supposed to do, but I try to keep to myself. Um, you know, I don't really enjoy interacting with some of my coworkers. And what is it that happens when you try to interact with them? Um, I guess I just I haven't really connected with any of them, and I I tend to worry about whether I'm doing my job right or if they like me, things like that. So it's just easier to stick to my my own office. Okay, so you have an office and they have separate offices mm -hmm. and you find yourself maybe isolating a little bit? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Alright, so what is, the, uh, what is your experience of the anxiety when you're kind of, I'm sure there's situations in the day where you more or less have to interact with other people. Tell me about your experience of the anxiety when that happens. You mean how I'm feeling or what type of situations it happens in? Well, let's cover both. Let's start with uh, what type of situations it triggers it. Okay, um, I guess whenever I'm in a big crowd um, or just with a bunch of coworkers, if we have meetings or if they ask for my input on, input on something, um, I tend to get nervous and I just wonder, you know, if I'm saying the right thing and then that sort of makes me get nervous around them. Um, and then when I start to feel nervous, I get some stomach pains. Um, I really would prefer just to stop talking, stop the meeting. Um, and then I get, you know, a little red and blush um, as well whenever we have meetings. Do you ever have a desire to uh, leave, like if you're in a group, just to kind of exit the area? Oh, yeah, all the time. Um, I try not to because I don't want to do a bad job and I don't. You know, I don't want to perform poorly, um, but sometimes the anxiety just takes over a little bit and I just would prefer to go back to my office and be by myself. And how distressing is this for you? I mean, obviously you're here, so it must be some level of distress, but how disruptive is it to your functioning? Um, well, I would say, I'm, you know, when I drive into work, you know, like I said, I feel anxious every day and I've really just been thinking about um, leaving my job and finding something else where I can potentially even be more secluded and not have to go to meetings frequently or make presentations or anything like that. So meetings and presentations in particular trigger anxiety? I would say, yeah, I would say so. Um, anything where a lot of people are looking at me, or more than a few, I guess you could say. Can you tell me a little bit more about the physical symptoms you mentioned, your stomach hurt, when you feel anxious. Is there any other, uh, any other symptoms that are going on that you could feel physically? Um, well, sometimes my palms will get sweaty. Um, my face will get red or I'll get overheated. Um, but mostly it's just some stomach pains leading up to, you know, throughout the day. Like if I'm thinking about what I have to do that makes me anxious, I'll start to get some stomach pains. So in these anxiety episodes are more intense, like when, you, when your stomach hurts and you have other symptoms. Are you worried about it happening again? Like, are you worried that those symptoms are going to occur again and that makes you have more symptoms? Mm, I'm not always worried about it 
happening again. I mean, sometimes I can anticipate it happening, um, and I would like to avoid it, but um, I would say here and there, I would worry about getting the stomach pains or blushing in front of people, things like that, but um, it's not every time. Tell me about the meetings that you have. You mentioned that you have meetings you have to go to or mm -hmm. expected. How many people would be in a typical meeting? Um, well, it's a pretty small company, but I would say probably anywhere between five and ten. Um, most of them are above me, though. Their positions are above me, so. All right, so five to ten, and how often are these meetings scheduled? Um, about once or twice a week regularly, and then sometimes we might meet more than that if something needs to be addressed. All right, so some are unplanned. Mm -hmm. And then some happen weekly. Okay. So for the, for the ones that are planned, mm -hmm. you get anxious in advance of them? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think about it as soon as... I know, always know it's coming, so I'm always thinking about, you know, the next meeting that I'll have to present at or how I'll have to contribute. Um, and then I just sort of, I think about it until it happens, and then it's a cycle. All right. So the meetings trigger it, generally not being isolated in the office kind of triggers this anxiety. Right. But there's other times, it sounds like, where you're not anxious when you're isolated in the office. Mm -hmm. How about at home? Are you anxious at home? Um, not really. When I'm by myself, I don't really feel anxious. All right, so really, it's when you get up for work and start thinking about the work day, mm -hmm. especially if there are meetings. Right. That's when it starts to affect mm -hmm. you. Yeah, like if I have off work for a couple of days, I don't feel anxious at all. It's really just when I'm going to work, when I know that I'm going to have to be talking to a lot of people, um, or making presentations, things like that. So you suffer the anxiety in advance of these planned meetings. How about the unplanned meetings? What's your experience of, of those? Well, I mean, the unplanned meetings, I, I don't really have a lot of time to think about them happening. But I would say, even when I'm put on the spot um, and have to present anything, or just even having a long discussion where a lot of people are looking at me or you know listening to me for a long period of time, I would still say I get pretty anxious about that as well. All right, so, so both really cause anxiety that's, that's really troubling you, mm -hmm. you're suffering with. Yes. All right. What I'm going to do is, uh, Nicole, is I'm going to schedule you mm -hmm. to uh, come and see a counselor here. Okay. It'll probably be uh, maybe later this week. Okay. Would that be okay with yep, you? Yep, that'll work. So I'll take you out to the front, we'll get you scheduled, and we'll get you treated uh, later on this week. Okay, great. What you told me has been very helpful. I want to thank you for coming in. Thank you.